Hey, welcome to the homestead. If you're like me, you have probably heard news reports about the Zika virus coming to North America. And so we've heard those reports too. So one of the things we've been wanting to do on this homestead for at least since we've gotten here is control the amount of mosquitoes that are on the homestead. And there's a natural way to do this. There's a lot of places where you can live in the cities and the suburbs where they use a lot of chemicals and pesticides to control uh, things like mosquitoes and other insects. And so we didn't want to do that here. What we, want, what we wanted to do is introduce a natural predator for these mosquitoes and bats are amazing at that. So Tim went to work, created a bat box. Check this out. Well, what, what we have here today is our bat box. Recently made this, I think we finished it last week. I got plans off the internet from uh, batconservation.org. Wealth of information about bats and how they live and how to make a bat box. So I took the materials, some of the scraps I had for when we finished the turkey house and made a uh, bat box. Uh, right here we have a vent where the bats will crawl up underneath, up into the top, and as the bat got box gets too warm, they'll crawl down and regulate their temperature by crawling up and down inside the bat box. Uh, constructed the sides with uh, just uh, three-quarter inch uh, pine wood and I took the siding, scraps of siding from the turkey house uh, both front and back and then I tacked a half inch hardware cloth on the landing area and on each uh, in the inside of each chamber so the bats have something to crawl on and crawl up inside. So there you go, a bat box. What an amazing way to naturally control the mosquitoes in your area and potentially reduce the risk of things like West Nile virus and the Zika virus, amongst other things. So if you live in an area, a semi-rural area, you might want to con you know, consider making a bat box and putting it up on your house or in a location that would be great for bats to live in and to thrive in and eat mosquitoes in your area. Bats can eat up to 600 mosquitoes an hour. That's an amazing advantage for you uh, to get rid of some of the mosquito population in your area. So there you go. I'm gonna leave a link in the description below of where we got our information to build our bat box so that if you wanna build one, you can do that too. A great natural way to protect yourself from things like the Zika virus. All right, we'll see you next time on an American homestead. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please click the thumbs up button below the video. It really means a lot to us. And be sure to subscribe if you haven't already. Now you can support an American homestead by becoming a patron. Visit patreon.com slash an American homestead to see all the benefits of becoming a patron of our channel. You'll get access to private videos, pictures, and even live question and answer sessions that you can participate in. Some patrons will even receive free gifts throughout the year from the homestead. Visit patreon.com slash an American homestead to check it out and see the rewards of supporting our channel.